Hello, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Thank you for watching. Hello, tomorrow is back to work and I will get back on board for tracking my macros for maintenance. Um, for breakfast, I will have my breakfast casserole. This poor thing is frozen solid, listen. It's frozen solid. But maybe it'll be defrosted by tomorrow. So I'll have that. And I've already plugged in the jicama chaffle and the rutabaga chaffle. What I plugged in, it's 45 grams of jicama, 45 grams of rutabaga, and a half of an egg. Because what I did was I used 180 grams and then one egg, and it made four different ones. So that's how I plug this in. So for breakfast, I'll have my egg casserole and my chaffle. I need to plug in my egg casserole. Hold on. So along with breakfast, then I'm gonna, I've already plugged in. I have eight ounces of pulled pork, and we are going to take some um, uh, G Hughes barbecue sauce. This is the hickory. I plugged in 30 grams, so let's get that weighed in here. I'm not going to put it in here. That has a lot of the liquid from the pork. A lot of the lick rendered fat and I may not eat all that so I'm actually gonna put the barbecue sauce in a little container to take with me so I'm zeroing it out one serving is 30 grams so I'm gonna try to get 30 grams as close as possible So then I'll set that over out of the way. And so I'll be taking this to put on my pulled pork tomorrow. So that will go in. Um, so then I'm going to take a salad. Whenever I make my salads, like I said, I'm doing this just as how I did on weight loss mode, only different portions. But I write everything down on this piece of paper. I know we got cabbage. Let's see how much we're going to put in. I do it till my heart says stop, and that's good. That's 64 grams. So, 64. And uh, no, that's my supper. And this is, it, it looks like cheese, but it is shredded jicama. I shredded it for my um, jicama chaffle, which was really good, by the way. Mom liked it. She said she went and put, she put some jelly on hers to give it some more flavor because it, it is very bland. But again, you know me, I don't like to cook with a bunch of flavors while I'm making something. So hicka is 44 gram, especially if it's something new. So now next time I'll know to do something a little different. I zero it back out. This is shredded rutabaga. We'll do 30 grams of shredded rutabaga. And um, this is gonna be a little bit difficult because this is a mixture of vegetables. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see, most vegetables have the same amount of calories and stuff, but I'm, I'll, I'm on, I'll try, I'll try. Let me zero it out, we've got try to pull out cucumber it's going to have some onions attached to it but it's just going to be the way it's going to be i could have pulled out a plain pickle or some of the ones that i made last night i made some more of these last night if you want to see how i do my pickled veggies i have a, um, a video and it just do a search for terry Terry pickled veggies, you'll find it. So cucumbers, 80 gram. And then I'm gonna do peppers because I have banana peppers and bell peppers in here. And I want some of those in here. Again, these are pickled, but I pulled them out of the liquid so I could use the liquid for cucumbers yesterday. All right, so 60 grams. 
Um, wait a minute. Um, pep. That was the pickled ones. I'm going to add some, some not pickled ones just for a little extra crunch. So I'll total out the, the peppers. 100 grams. Peppers. 100. All right. Let's see who can do this. On the count of three. Ready? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many peck pip pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Yeah! Try that. All right, so I'll set those over here to go back in the fridge. That goes over here. Now I've got some yellow onion. I've zeroed it out, so I'll do some yellow onion. I like onion, and if you don't tolerate onions, just don't put them on there. It's all right. You don't have to make your salad like I make mine. So since I got it zeroed out, I also have some red onion. So I'm going to put some red on here, onion on here too. That's kind of nice. I can do them all at the same thing because they'll plug in the same. I use the chronometer app, C-R-O-N-O-M-E-T-E-R. -E -E it's orange. It has a, it looks like a little outline of an apple. Um, I like it. It, um, um, what I like about it is I can, if I did not want to count total carbs and I wanted to do net carbs, it would let me do net carbs and I could choose which, like if I wanted to take, keep fiber from vegetables out of it, I could do that. If I was somebody who wanted to keep sugar alcohols out, I could do that. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want to have held out for net carbs if that, if you're so inclined. This is broccoli slaw, and that's 36 grams. I don't know what this last thing is. Let's see what's in it. I'm trying not to block y'all. Oh, carrots. All right. So, carrots. These are carrot chips. Don't judge me. Yes, I just bit that in half. Ain't nobody else going to be eating my salad. If they do, they're liable to be missing an eye or something. Because I'll jab them with my fork for trying to eat my salad. And 34 grams of carrots. Okay. So, I really need to label that one, but I didn't. Well, what's this one? This is just hanging out here. Red onions. Y'all, I got my lids all kinds of mixed up. Okay, so this is from the salad. All right. Let me clean some of this up, and I'll be right back. In the final touch, we'll add a few tomatoes. Zero it out. Oh, I forgot my dressing. Hang on. Tomatoes, 47. Wait a minute. Did I zero it out? Yep, those are some heavy tomatoes. Ooh, that's a black... It's got a, oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay, well, 47 grams of tomatoes. Now I'm going to grab some salad dressing. I forgot that. What I've been using for my salad dressing is the G. Hughes Dipping Sauce Polynesian. G. Hughes Dipping Sauce Honey Mustard. Um, You know, I like a lot of dressing, so I've decided I'm going to do something here. And um, just... Just go with it. Just go with it. Um, these are thick sauces. So I'm going to zero this out. And I'm going to fill it a little bit with some of this. Let's see how much. So both of these have the same amount. They have, well, this one's 10 calories. But I'll, I'll go with the 20 calories. They're both the same amount of carbs. Nope, this is two carbs and 20 calories. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half and half. And I'm going to actually add some water. So, what I'll just, just go with it. You'll see in a minute. See how thick they are? I'd like mine a little thinner. Alright. I'm going to do 60 grams. And then 60 more grams. 
to make 120 and then we're going to do 120 grams of water because I want to thin them out so that it goes a little further. I would rather have a thin dressing and fewer, so that's 120 grams. I would rather have less, I'd rather have thin, more thin dressing and, um, and less calories. I didn't do this before, but I'm doing it now. So I'm going to re-zero this out with that on there, and now I need it to be 120. Oh, this ain't going to work so well. But I'm doing it. There we go. 120. Boom. Boom. All right. So, where's my lid? Oh, right here. So, now I'm going to screw my little lid on here. Pop this open. I'm going to shake this up. Hang on. And there it is. And you might say, Terry, why'd you go through all that? Because now um, I can put more dressing on my salad for um, fewer calories. And I'll know 120 grams is six, is, is, um, one serving of this and one serving of that because I diluted it. All right. I'm also going to add some of this guacamole and more seasoning. So the reason why I'm doing this, um, I used to use, which I have some over there somewhere. Um, I used to use the um, Walden Farms dressing all the time. And it is super thin. And it goes a lot farther because it's so thin. Well, since this is thicker, it does not go far. So you take your first few bites and you're out of dressing on the bottom. So if you're not somebody who, you know, who does, if you're somebody who does not want thin dressing, like my mama, then don't do what I just did. So now I'll scan each of these and uh, I'll do one serving of each of these. And, and I got a lot more dressing for it. So now I put everything together. There's my salad, got my pulled pork. Remember, I do not season stuff when I cook it, so I'll season it. Um, how about I season it now? Let's, that was in the, in the crock pot. Ooh, let's put some hickory salt, some Redmond's Real Salt Hickory Salt. And you know what? I need to use, be working on this one the, uh, this is the chef's blend. I need to be working on that. Hang on. I gotta kinda hold it up here so I can see it come out. It's hard to see it. All right, so there's some of that. And then I'm gonna do, nope, yeah. I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic salt. All right, so now, here we go. Where'd the lid go? Here we go. So lunch is going to be my salad, my pulled pork, and my barbecue sauce. Breakfast is going to be my egg casserole and my, my fluky-doos, uh, these things. Uh, chaffles, that's the word. Now, final thing. I have been taking apples to work, and I've really enjoyed it. So I'm going to... And, uh, and I bought some oranges, and I am going to try to peel this. I'm going to do it off camera. Um, Nona Grace, if you don't watch Nona Grace, you need to watch Nona Grace. She she did a thing. I said I'm going to do this off camera, and I wasn't going to embarrass myself, but let's see if I can. She used the back end of her spoon. I think that's how she did it. And then she just peeled down. So... All right, so I'm going to finish peeling this. I'll be right back. So one of the ladies who watches me has her own channel, and it's Nona Grace. And I had mentioned that I have not peeled a, a orange since I was a kid. And so I tried the other day, and I had it. Oh, I did a terrible job. I just beat it all to pieces. 
And so Nona Grace was kind enough on her channel to show how to peel an orange. So look, Nona, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, yay! Show Jim. He married a woman who knows a thing or two about a thing or two. Um, so now I'm gonna cut this apple up, just a second. All right, cut this apple and then, you know, you go through some, some prep in the evening time and on the weekends, I do all my prep on the weekends and um, so that way I don't have to do any major stuff through the week. So you see this isn't hard. I'm not cooking a meal. All I'm doing is putting together things so that I can take it with me to work tomorrow. And by doing this, I am keeping myself on track. I have no excuse to cheat. You, you can't give yourself excuses to cheat or you will take advantage of yourself. Believe me, I have been obese since I was 13 years old. And so I know all the tips and tricks to how to, how to get around having to eat right. So you can't give yourself any kind of reason to finagle and sneak out of eating healthy. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna weigh this out. Because again, we're still keeping track of everything. Apple, orange. All right, so I'm gonna zero that out. I'll put the apple in here. Apple is 158. Orange can fit in there. I don't know. I'll put it in a Ziploc bag. It'll it'll mold better in there if I do that. So I'll zero it out. <clears throat> put my oranges in there. And orange is 171. Alright. So I'm gonna plug all this in and I'll tell you where we're at with our breakfast and lunch. The good thing by using a tracker app, if you're somebody like me and you eat the same things multiple days in a row, you just carry it over from the day before and you just change the amount of grams. Bada boom, bada bang, and you got the same thing all week, you can do it. Hold on. Okay, so I did the math. Whew, I'm looking rough again. Oh well, it's better than my bonnet. Nah, nothing's better than my bonnet. Anyway, so for breakfast and lunch, for everything you see, Calories is 1336, 1336. Protein is 97.1. Total carbs is 87.7. Fiber is 21. Um, fat is 68.8. So net carbs, 876, would be about 66 net carbs. Now, also, since I pull two mains out at a time, um, I know that tomorrow for supper will be a T bone steak. Um, I don't know what I'll have with it. So I went ahead and plugged that in just so I could see the difference. So with the steak, it'll be 1,996 calories for the total calories, 155 protein and 114.3 fat. Carbs and fiber didn't change. So um, when I get home tomorrow, I'll see what I want to do with it. Um, <clears throat> see what I want to have with the steak. I may have something. I may not have something. I may have more veggies. I don't know. But... Um, but anyway, so that's kind of what I planned in, and we'll see what it is at the end of the day. All right, bye. Tuesday morning weigh-in. Getting back down. Okay, I'm having breakfast, and I've got my my chaffle and my chaffle. I didn't put anything in them. I'm probably gonna add a little salt to them, and then my egg casserole. So that's my breakfast this morning. Mmm. And the egg casserole, it's not all watery. Good tip. Thank you for telling me to rinse them off and defrost my veggies first. Great tip. Thank you. Okay, it is lunchtime. Got my barbecue sauce. I'm going to put that. I'm going to go ahead and pour it onto it. I should have just done it last night. That would have made the most sense. But, you know, making sense, that ain't my strong suit. So, let me mix it up. Okay, let's taste it. I don't remember if I seasoned it last night or not. Let's see. 
Mm. Oh, that's good. I must have seasoned it because that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's pulled pork or salad. A big old honking salad. The good thing about vegetables, man, they fill you up fast. And when you're somebody like me who likes a lot of food on your plate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thinning out that dressing definitely makes it go farther. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Nona Grace, this is for you. A little salt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That was good. Now let's try the orange with a little salt. You know, Grace, you said you like. You said you like salt on your oranges too. Hmm. That's good. I know. I peeled it all by myself. Thank you, Nona Bryce. Okay. See y'all at supper. Supper tonight, I've got my steak that I grilled this weekend. I did not put any seasoning on it. So let's put some of this, let's see, Chef's Blend smoked salt. Let's put a little of that on there. When I was at my mom's, I didn't take this one. But when I was at my mom's, I had her take the little... The little dealies that are in all of them. Let's see, garlic salt. You know the little thingy that hangs in there, the little tags? I had her take all of them, but I didn't take this one. So I need to have to do that one by myself. I'm going to have to do it without my mama's help. There we go. Maybe. Okay, I got it off. So there we go. Now it doesn't have that little dealie over it anymore. I'm trying to stop me from getting my smoked salt. So the, and then I put some garlic salt. I'm going to put a little onion salt. Just a little bit. Now, 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 now. Let's give it a little stir and see what we think. This was 8 ounces. I have everything plugged into chronometer. Um, I Fruit, this is going to, this was uh, 250 grams of fruit. And... I'm also going to have 100 grams of avocado. For the record, spraying it with the lemon juice did not make a lick of difference. It's all brown. But I don't care. It's still going to taste good. I don't care. So 100 grams. Oh, hey, that looks good underneath there, but... Hey! Bless me. Bless me. Come on, fella. Need a drink, I'm choking. Alright. That's 100 grams of avocado. So steak, avocado, and fruit. Let's see. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh! Mm-mm-mm. Grilling day, Terry. Mwah. You did a great job. I don't care how big them flames are. You did a good job, Terry Bear. You did a good job. Um. Now let's try this guacamole. Oh, or no, it was, I say guacamole. It's avocado. <clears throat> you know, look, sing it. I'm getting my guacamole and more seasoning. We're going to turn this avocado into guacamole. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. That's good. That's good. That's good. 
All right. Um, I'm not going to take a bite of my fruit yet because I'm saving that for dessert. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all day, my calories were 2,317. They were up today. Protein was 158. Total carbs is 133. Fat was 129. My fiber was 30. So, net carbs would be 100. And that's what I did. So, there you go. Okay, I don't know where I was. The lawn guys are here and the dogs were trying to tear out for him. Anyway, so that's my supper. That's what I'm eating. I'm gonna save the fruit for lunch, supper for dessert. And I have, I'll have that and that. So there's my supper. Okay, bye.